All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back uh, to the podcast. In tonight's episode, we're going to be talking a bit more about the failed insurrection at the Capitol and uh, comparing and contrasting that to riots that happened over the previous months due to the other side being angry. Other side. Yep. And then um, <laughs> off side of that. you hey, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not on. Uh, Anyways. Anyways. And then from there, segueing into uh, Second Amendment rights, as is demonstrated on the tables next to me and behind me here um but as well as uh what's coming for those second amendment rights as far as um is there any legal or uh you know any any policy that's going to be put forth towards firearms but then also just the the timeliness and chaos surrounding um the current environment in america um and surrounding guns especially so uh, yeah that's going to be on tonight's episode stay tuned Travis. I I am. Are you Kurt? I am right. absolutely ready. I think I've I got a couple too. drinks and couple drinks, <laughs> couple guns, couple yep. topics. Absolutely. I think we're I think we're ready to go. So I guess yeah. For uh, we'll talk about the the capital. Yeah, let's stuff, talk about that uh, first. As a as a as of right now, um, it's the thirteenth today. It's yes, January thirteenth. It yep. So that stuff happened. This yeah, literally a week ago yep. now. Um, an actual business week ago now. Um. And the term that I've seen thrown around, um, and I'd say it's pretty accurate, is a failed insurrection. Right. Um, a bunch of nut jobs trying to literally run into the seat of democracy. It's just a bunch of. It's a bunch of fringe crazies. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of the. Uh, Some from Iowa. Yeah, a, a few from <laughs> Iowa. There was actually I saw, um, apparently one of the, uh, one of the the people at the at the actual protest was a university of Iowa student. Um, and I just saw, that's not shocking. No, not at all. (laughs) But I I saw a bunch of, I saw a bunch of people just hounding on on social media, like trying to like say, call this guy out and like call university of Iowa admissions to like, I don't know. I don't know what you would do at that point. Um, because it's twofold. Don't riot. Um, and we'll get into that more yeah. of how that pertains to the other side of the political aisle and seems to be a little hypocritical. Mm. Um, and then also you have the right to peacefully assemble and have your voice heard. That doesn't mean run into the Capitol building, smashing windows. That's not what it means. But just like six months ago, um, anybody carrying the f- banner of George Floyd or Black Lives Matter yeah. was running roughshod through the streets. Some some crazy people in those groups doing bad things and destroying property. Um, but now, since it's a couple people on the right side of the aisle, it seems to be, oh, I don't know why nothing happens. Where Where is the police? Um, I just thought that was... I think the whole environment surrounding it is so stupid. And I know we've talked about it. We're just tired of it. Yeah. Like we're, we're tired of every. I understand like everybody's we're... frustration, but... It doesn't need to come to that at all. It's not worth it's your not, life. No, no, absolutely. And it's not worth even any sort of jail time whatsoever. It's not. It's not worth it. Especially as far as, yeah, jail time. And you're just making the rest of us look bad, honestly. You know what I mean? Like That's a hundred. Oh, that's a hundred. But that's, that's a good point too, is that it now becomes much as I've seen kind of the, um, political right due to people kind of on the, on the yeah. left with all the rioting and property destruction that happened over the summer it became you know this idea of these mostly peaceful riots essentially you know it was kind of the running gag and it was the running joke that okay were these actually that peaceful and on a statistical level yeah kind of for the most part it was a bunch of people there's a bunch of people walking around with banners protesting something that i don't necessarily agree with but you have the right to do that but then you had your like you said crazy you had your crazies you had your just like the right has crazies, left has crazies. Yeah. Everybody's going to have it's extremists on both radicals. sides. Radicals, yes. Extremists and we, on both sides. we say that a lot. I know I say that a lot. And you hear it, you'll hear me say it a lot. It's on both sides of the aisle that, that, that you have extremists. Like very it. extreme people. And they're th- passionate. I'll give them that. They're it's, pa- it's a passion based thing. But 
that's a feeling. Yeah, a it's feel, you. Yeah, it's so you. Here we go. It's you being so emboldened by what you like personally feel, as opposed to an overall arcing narrative right. or actual policy decision, whatever. It's something that you personally feel. And it may not necessarily be true. That was a big part of the insurrection mm -hmm. thing was that it was a bunch of people that legitimately thought they had an election stolen from them. And I get it. There's arguments to be made. There's Absolutely. arguments to be tossed out. It's a free country. You talk about whatever you want. But on a systematic democratic level, you lost. Yep. So take it in stride. Yep. Move on. Get them in 2022. And for sure, get them in 2024. If that's what you're obvious actually worried about well, i think the problem is most of these people have lost complete faith in the election process so even in 2022 are they really going to be satisfied with any of the outcome especially if it goes no that's a their, that's their a good favor? that's a good question and uh when did it start yeah, i think wait, exactly i think it started it, how long ago how long has this been going yeah. on and um i think kind of the the most recent slash latest um trend that you could see that occurring was in 2000 um the gore v bush yeah. thing coming down literally to was this card actually punched in florida or not and you know pending lawsuits going all the way to the inauguration then um then 2016 you had two people that were just interesting candidates to be running for yeah. the united states of america's president interesting yeah that's and that's why i chose the word fantastic yeah word. and i you know you had Donald Trump, who is saying that even if it was appearing on the night that I lost, I wasn't going to concede. That was, you know, that's what he was saying in 2016. Don't know if he was going to commit to that, but he even said then he wasn't going to concede, concede rather. And, you know, Hillary Clinton was holding on to four years after her loss that she got jobbed out of a presidential mm -hmm. campaign. But um, she won the popular vote. But she won the popular vote. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to America. Yeah. Where it's not yeah, a popularity it's contest. Yeah. It's how well you do the nation uh, see, over. That's where I feel the problem with de Democrats are. It's very no, actually, it's I Democrats. think it's both ways. It oh, is oh, both yeah. ways, but it is um uh predominantly progressive yeah, absolutely. uh thinking. lefties yeah. that that thinking that thinking if i win that, over the majority of americans i should i be, should have the power right, right. um which is the point of federalism right. is to deny pure majorities from quashing minorities yeah, exactly. and that's why we have the electoral yep. college um, and donald trump won that yep. so he became the president um and then you had this four years long nonsense about him being a russian cat spa whatever you know he was getting peed on by russian hookers whatever it was all that was a real <laughs> was thing. Really a thing that was a oh, real thing that. that was you know I, I won't complete that with steel dossier i mean I a man like donald trump it's a possibility i mean there. it's a possibility <laughs> the dude's crazy the dude literally builds towers with his name on it so i'm not gonna throw anything out the window but to then turn around and Here's say worse things yeah i've heard worse <laughs> things about the man and then also to turn around and immediately say that was all true this hunter biden laptop stuff it's completely not, untrue yeah, right. and that's russian disinformation yep. It's very hypocritical and it's I, most people don't like that because right. it shows your ability to just flip flop on things, which is why a lot of people didn't look Joe Biden, period. It was just your, oh, well, yeah, it was always, it's yeah. what about ism. It's like, well, on my side, whatever. But the second you do it, I'm going to wag my finger. We're going to talk a little bit more about that tonight, about uh, the hypocrisy, the insane hypocrisy of the left. A hundred percent. Like I read that, um, that status that that yeah. you know, person posted. We're not going to name names, but posted something on Facebook. And I thought it was just fantastic. So maybe we could read that. Actually, you know, let's pull it up. Pull yeah, it up. Let's pull it up. It. And I we'll read it. And I think it's good topics of conversation. I think here. it absolutely is. Well, and you you read it out to me while we were at yeah. work earlier today. And so, it's um it's a very true statement. Some people are. It's gonna. I mean, and anybody that says the truth is going to be backlashed against in absolutely whatever but it's a it's it, incredibly valid point you i don't care who you are you cannot sit here and deny the things that are being said here you can't mm -hmm. and if you and if you and if you can you have some major issues and uh you're gonna well you're 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 cherry picking yeah, if you, you can't are. agree yeah. the fact that both of these pertain to everybody everybody them. so here it flat out just starts why is broken glass on Capitol Hill more appalling to you than the broken glass that shattered the dreams of minority business owners all over the country? Why is a five-hour protest on Capitol Hill more appalling to you than the seven-month-long destructive siege of our country? 
Why is some minor cosmetic damage to the Capitol building more appalling to you than 150 federal buildings damaged and thousands of businesses burned down or destroyed? Where was the outrage and disgust when more than 30 people died and 1,000 people were injured and beaten during seven long months of mostly peaceful protest, in parentheses, oh, yes. including old people and police officers? Where was the outrage and disgust when U.S. cities across the country were plagued with looting, violence, arson, vandalism, and damages totaling in the billions? Billions. And it says, yes, billions. Why is it okay for AOC, Pelosi, Maxine Waters, Kamala Harris, etc., to call for uprisings and, and support unrest in the streets, but when Trump calls on his supporters to march over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard, he is made out to be the Antichrist. Maybe because it's a manufactured outrage designed to further divide an already completely fractured country. That's the line I love the most. About Absolutely. That. Manufactured. Um, is the ma well, the manufactured outrage and then also to divide an already fractured country. Right. A fractured country that w did not begin fracturing in 2016. This is years in the making. Decades. This yep. is decades in the making. Uh, it's been a powder keg for a while. This has just been a l very long, yep. dummy, drawn-out yep. fuse. It's yep. really what it's been. And I think that Post provides literally excellent fodder to literally just go, why does this but not this? Right. Um, and, um, the answer for me is narrative. Yeah, absolutely. It's narrative and then also the fact that it was on the doorstep of democracy. Yep. It was literally... And, you know, and to be fair, it should be scary. There were people running around with zip ties yeah. and IEDs were getting left around mm -hmm. the Capitol. That's disgusting stuff. I hate it. It's terrible. It's awful. We Everybody hates it. 99% of Americans despise it. Yep. That's like, that's the big part. Much to the same way of people yeah. running roughshod through yep. streets. So why are we actively... That's how desperate these people feel, though. You know, that's how desperate they feel, like that their voices aren't heard. And the government gives, obviously, the government gives no crap about you, but... No. On but, a personal level, government. Right, doesn't. that's what I mean. And they're at their wits end to think about that, that this is where they are now to where let's storm the Capitol. They building. think they're like, best, let's, let's, let's they're set think, up. No, they think the best solution is to, and, is to insurrection. Yeah, yeah, they think that's absolutely. the best solution. Um, you, you know, I'm and, surprised they weren't wearing Guy Fawkes masks. I'm surprised. You know? I honestly yeah. am too. I'm surprised there wasn't more masked vigilantes. That's kind of what I was thinking. People yeah. running in. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Well, because that was some of the stuff that I was hearing about people doing that stuff is that they were running in, grabbing political documents, mm -hmm. computers, servers, and just running out. I'm okay with that. I want to and see that. And I want, <laughs> I do like transparency with yeah. my government. So it's, you know, it's the, it's the thin gray line we yeah. tell of like, all For right, sure. I don't like you doing that. But, you know, you did expose some good information. It was like the whole Edward Snowden thing with me. It was right. like, I don't like the fact that you literally went against me, but yeah. you did expose you did. some good yep. stuff. So I we digress. Yep. It's all in all, it was dumb. It shouldn't have happened. Uh, but I'm not surprised that it happened. No. It was, it was the culmination of six to seven month long protests running through the country, some areas obviously worse than others, um, and just destroying personal property, not federal property, yeah. not, not taxpayer dollar right. property. We're they were destroying businesses. They were destroying mom homes, stores, mom and yeah. pop stores, bars that had been open for yep. 15 years yep. because some guy wanted to open a bar and then it got burned down and he didn't have enough money through the insurance yep. to cover it. That angers a lot of people. And then I can, I, from sitting back and looking through it all i can say you don't put blame on donald trump himself you put blame on his rhetoric the things that he said you know um same with rudy giuliani you know coming out and saying it's trial by combat and we can't let this happen we uh, a country like this you people don't shouldn't let this happen it's things like that yeah. that gets to fringe crazies and they go all right um the only logical conclusion is to storm the capitol um and then what happens an air force Oh, an Air Force veteran dies. Yep. Um, Capitol Police get crushed and killed. Um, terrible things happen. Uh, but if you chide one and then not the thousands of others that right. occurred before it, uh, I, I see it as just the logical culmination of 
everything that's happened over this past year, especially yep. in 2020. Yeah. 2020 was a garbage year. Really, and, 2021 is not going to be any better. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> uh, I, you know, and that's kind of where we I left know. the last one off. Yeah. On I know last you time. have hope that I, I do have yeah. hope. Um, but you know, it we live in this 24 hour news cycle. There's manufactured outrage every other day. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for us to complain. Um, and I, I, I think that's nonsense because I think a lot of people have things in their life that they should be more thankful for than they are actually. I angry. agree with you there. Yes. Uh -huh. a, a bunch of other nonsense that really doesn't phase right. their everyday life. Um, and I think you're going to see a big influx of that, especially after the inauguration. Um, and I think it's going to shift from progressive lefties kind of saber rattling and saying everything's wrong and Republicans are messing things up. And only if we got in, we could fix stuff and they're going to get in. They're going to have control of all three branches of government, which personally scares me. I will, I will not lie. Said that last and uh, what, you know, what comes with that? Is it complete, you know, cultural social change right. is it stripping of rights is it a complete rejiggering of the american system i don't really know um and that's why i think you know and we talked this talked about this a little at work today are these are these on the chopping block um no uh, and, not right away uh, yeah. yeah and this uh, was this was kind of the consensus that we came to not right away for certain they would they would not be able to there's no way um yeah they're gonna try and pass they'll try and yeah. do it uh, there's already four um, that are uh, ready to go and ready to be passed, but there's no way that they're going to be able to um, take actually, especially this. I mean, this. How are you going to take this from me? This is a this is a self defense. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try and get those. They'll first. try. They'll yeah. go after that. They're gonna I mean, go Beta after that. Beta O'Rourke even said Absolutely. so. FBI, yeah, we're coming after we, you. We have a congresswoman that um, carries now. Do um, we? Yeah. Have you seen that? No. Uh, what's that's amazing. In D.C. Uh, she's the new uh, a new congresswoman in D.C. that now carries. I'll have to find that video. Maybe we can talk about that at another time. But yeah, she carries everywhere. It's amazing. Yeah, I and love you that. should. Yeah. You should. If, she, if, she's a small. She's five foot. She's five foot, a hundred pounds. Um, for one, and she's in Washington. Carry a gun or pepper spray, man. Yeah, like, please do. Please carry both. Um, well, that's, me. I don't think I need pepper spray. I don't need pepper spray. I can I physically this. defend myself, but then also, worse comes to worse, I have. I have everybody's Absolutely. equilibrium right here. And please have one in the chamber. Don't ever carry without <laughs> one in the chamber. And that's a what kind of what we talked about at the beginning of the show too. We're going to segue kind of into Second Amendment yeah. rights and um, you know gun policy, uh, foreseeable future gun policy. Yeah. Um, and we kind of came to the consensus earlier today that it's not going to be um, immediately. No, it, it's going to be no a slow way. burn. It's yeah. going to be an avalanche. And it, I mean, it, it also depends on where you live. That's that's mm, what mm -hmm. we talked about that too. Like I'm glad I live here in in the Midwest because part of the country we're gonna yeah, be left alone. Yeah, for a long especially time. in our state. Uh, I mean Illinois, forget about oh, it. Oh God, <laughs> no. I mean Illinois is a... even Minnesota's. I mean Minnesota's not so bad, but it's getting pretty bad. Mm, um, D Minneapolis yeah, is pretty bad. Yeah, Minneapolis is bad, but um, so St. Paul. As far as being able to own a gun, I like living here. Like it's well um, in this, and it's very. Um, there's very established laws. They're very right. Verbate. They're it's layman's. not super easy they're, to get. I don't understand why people. Think everybody you thinks can get it, a gun ooh, anywhere. you can literally no, you can literally can't. walk into the Walmart and and no. buy the fully automatic child seeking rounds yeah. that literally obliterate the school. <laughs> no, dude, rounds. you can't. You cannot do that. I do. People not realize after I believe it was an attempted assassination on President Ronald Reagan, um, they made it so you had to wait 72 yeah. hours before you can literally get the gun. Yeah, they, they got to do a background check. And that's also... Plain and simple. And I don't know where this idea came into people's heads where it's like, uh, people on the right are so afraid of background checks and they don't like literally common sense gun laws. And they, I really don't Look, know where that came up. Every time I go and purchase a gun, I still have to go through a background check. And I'm mine fine is, with that. Mine is quicker. The reason why mine is quicker is because I have a permit to carry. I can literally provide them with this information and I can walk out with a gun right then and there because they still have to type that in. They still have to they take still that. Have to see if they still have to look it up. And they look it up. Okay, yes, this is all valid. He's already undergone, undergone all of the things that he needs to do. Especially if you have a carry permit. Exactly, especially if you have a carry permit. If you have a permit to acquire... I still think it takes, I know you can still get one, 
but I think it takes a little while. You're, it's I mean, there's I always still seventy two hours. There's always going to be a mandatory forty eight to seventy two hours. Literally, especially after that. I can't remember now because literally it was somebody literally went. I want to assassinate uh, whoever. Ronald Reagan might not be the exact president, but it was. I want to assassinate X. They went and bought a thirty eight special, and then went and shot whoever right. it was. And they went, oh, we literally have to not allow people to do that because that is kind of crazy yeah, to be able crazy. to walk into a store and immediately get it i can agree with that. that make me wait 48 to 72 yeah. hours that way if i am going to be a nut job and buying a gun and immediately yep. wanting to do damage yep. i'm going to be stuck with my own conscience going well if you're crazy you don't have a conscience but me myself it right. would literally be going oh why why on god's green earth right. what i what i want to do that um yeah. i'm just gonna use it as literal personalized life right. insurance and it, and that, that's exactly right and that's why i told you know my my fiance wife whatever fiance. uh yeah fiance uh th that she should get one she's tiny she's super tiny and um i i would feel more comfortable if she was packing so she got her permit to carry you know and you know, it's and, so easy it, 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 it's, it's so easy i mean it, it, you it's, gotta take a class it's easy in the sense of if you know common sense uh firearm um safety yes you got to um, take training i mean that you still have to do a training mm -hmm. you you okay we'll get into that yeah. so um today i applied for my conceal and carry license and um, i was urging him to do it right then and there yeah because, because, well and you've been you, you've been yes, on the you've I been have. on the get this done train for a I'm long telling time you, if you if you wait and you hesitate and you wait you're just going to keep pushing it off it's like push anything up. in life man like and so, and especially now, uh, I told him to do it before inauguration day. Granted, I know anything That's that gets a little passed, fear mongering, it, it but is, even it still, is. it's a it's, it's hedging your just, bets. You just needed to do it. Anyways. Yeah, and yeah. I also and, needed to do yeah. that so, one because you, there's still a waiting period. There after is you there is a waiting period it. from applying and then you know approving it and then sending you your actual license to carry. Um, and then also for me personally, it was literally only a matter of time. It literally just yeah, took me turning 21, yeah, 21 to be able yeah. to get and that. And that was recent. Yes. And I, and I've, I've never been one personally opposed to firearms. Um, I've always, you know, they've been in my life for as long as I can remember, not, you know, dangling, sitting on tables in front of me, but they've been right. a part of effective, well, you know, <laughs> um, uh, but uh, well, kind of what you were saying about your fiance is, um, I've kind of said the same thing, um, with Daisy where it's, uh, she carries pepper spray on her yeah. and uh down the line would i prefer her carrying like a little 380 or 22 yeah, like, abs like, abs like my fiance's absolutely go right ahead i would love you to do that um i know my my mom was in the same boat and i think daisy is also kind of in the same boat she just doesn't have too much experience with them. Oh, I understand. They that. haven't. They haven't. Uh, they haven't been to a range. I mean, they don't extensively you need to get that experience. And, but that's a big part of yeah. that's the responsibility of owning a firearm yeah. as well. Is you becoming as one with it, and you know, becoming used to it, um, cleaning it regularly, understanding the functionality of it, and uh, you know, a gun without bullets is as effective as a paperclip. Yeah. So it's literally you're in control yeah. you are you have a tool of dramatic destruction yeah. in your hands don't get me wrong it can do a lot of yeah. damage but it's who's behind the gun that really matters so there's lots of things that go into it you have to be okay and i talked about this with you earlier you have to be okay with taking a person's life um if it came down to if it, it absolutely came down and to it. it exactly and i'm not talking like i'm i don't like I'm this person go i'm gonna go out, out and yeah. murder no I'm, I'm talking that's about a, that's the difference between murder and that's why right. we have english common law it, it, and it, i'm talking about it's either my life or theirs you have to be okay with that and some people aren't and understand that's okay you should own a gun then plain and simple and that's a very don't. good that's a yeah. very good point yeah. if you are in you know that's a that's a philosophical conundrum people could unravel in their brains for hours is are you able to take a man's life um i probably you know after long deliberation and consideration i'd probably still come to the consensus of yeah i could um especially in the old but there's a lot of ifs there's a lot of ifs and there's a lot of it, it's multi-factored analysis yeah. there's a lot of things that go on i am not willingly going to step up without somebody else coming to do me harm take the life that's of what a I mean. human, be, human being yes. and that's something we've talked about before is i don't have that in me no. i'm not a monster no. i can't do that uh, but what i can do is defend the lives and of the ones around me that i care my yep. loved ones as well as myself um and i have the right 
You have the right to do it. I have the right to do that. Yeah. Um, and one of those rights is for me to and keep I'm not and even bear talking arms. about the Constitution. I'm talking about you as a human being, human being born have, into this world. Have the have, have the, the right ability to, to defend, defend yourself, yourself. Yep. especially if somebody's coming to do. I don't you care harm. what tool you use. It could be a bat. It could be a. It just so happens that this is a tool that we have now. We didn't have this back in the day. Doesn't matter. They still used other means. You know what I mean? So just because we have new tools doesn't mean you don't see you don't see anybody talking about like adding uh and when you do why aren't knives banned why aren't why knives banned knife um why isn't why isn't twitter a part of the first amendment things like that exactly. it's it's stupid yeah. arguments like that yeah it's because they put forth an idea that they knew would outlast the stretch of time yeah. especially in america because they knew what it was going to be like generally and they made it so you can have guns to protect yourself um from enemies foreign or domestic. domestic and granted every process that we're talking about here isn't perfect when we talk about how you have to apply to get a gun to a permit to carry or even just a, a permit to acquire there are people out there that have unblemished records okay and those people may have experienced something in their lives that made them snap and they can go out and apply for a gun and they will probably get approved and that's that's that does happen i'm not sitting here saying that stuff doesn't happen that's unfortunate it's unfortunate but if that person is really become that way they're going to figure out a way to do what they want to do no matter if they go and get a gun or not it's plain and simple look at europe yeah exactly how many I'm, knife I'm, attacks I'm, happen in europe trucks yeah exactly uh, it really stopped the <laughs> terrorists in paris from how many driving people a with a box vehicle? truck through 15 right. people i'm sorry if crazy people get it into their head that they want to hurt someone yep. they're going to find any means possible to hurt them yeah nothing's Gun, gonna stop guns aren't uh, banning guns nope. isn't gonna stop them nope. yeah and banning guns you're just hurting the people that are trying to defend defend themselves, themselves yeah. legally yeah. that's you know and then that's when the right makes the argument it's like okay all right gun bans fine that's your idea uh there are 330 million yeah guns in exactly. there's more than that i'm pretty no, sure no yeah. rather no yeah no you're definitely right because yeah. i'm I know there's more than more than one per. Human there's one more than yes. Man, woman, I think it's in a, in well because how many? What's the population of the United States? 300, 330, 300, 300 million? 325, three, I think it's like three twenty five. It could be. Roughly. And I think you're right. I think it is closer to like six hundred million yeah. overall guns in, in circulation. In, yeah. uh -huh. Most of them, this bad right. boy right here. Most I, of them. I own a few of them. Most, <laughs> of, them, you know, most of them chambered in five five six. Yeah. That's the very. It's yep. the um, easily accessible, most produced round and firearm in the united states um close second to that is semi-automatic pistols i think it's probably actually flip-flop it's probably semi-automatic semi i don't know see well, i don't I like to do some research on that yeah because i know 556 five, 556 five, is very it's popular. so popular it's i can't very, find any ammo for no that right now. ammo good luck and then also reasons. everybody everybody has one of the most right of center americans have these and you should and you should <laughs> you should own an ar-15 <laughs> arrest me yeah. i don't care <laughs> you should own a firearm and because most people know how to effectively store them. Hey, if you notice, both of these guns right now don't have a magazine in yeah, them. They're, 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 there's no magazines in them. No magazine in them. This one's open. You can see there's open nothing position, here. Not even a bolt in the this chamber. This one, you can just rack back and see. Nothing. Nothing in, nothing in the bolt carrier. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Why? Because that's how you effectively store things. Yeah. But it, you don't, you as the government cannot stop me yep. from owning a firearm you yeah you cannot. won't stop me i'm sorry you just you will not well it's, cause, I, I, and that's, I, I lost that, my guns in a boating accident <laughs> that's exactly what you say it's like yep uh uh terrible house, knock on my door please. terrible house fire only lost the guns don't worry the house is still standing but i i lost all the guns and and that's kind of what i was gonna uh about to say was okay gun ban that's your policy whatever um there's 600 million guns in america just saying you can't have them anymore doesn't mean they don't exist. You know what makes you know what makes me really nervous is when the government says you can't have guns, but we can, and we can have as many as we want. We can do whatever we want with them. That's, that's how, terrifying. I, I think that is a a very good. That's a very good logical response. Is that it's okay if it's enshrined in our in the law of the land, which is the Constitution. It's the law of the land. It's enshrined in that that our Second Amendment right is the ability to keep and bear arms for self-defense against enemies foreign 
or, or domestic. domestic. There's a reason they put the or domestic in there. And from tyrannical government. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> why. They knew that if a government got so big, even within the confines of its own borders, that it literally said, you can't own guns anymore. Where do all the guns go? Yep. They go to the government. Yep. The government then harbors them, whether they then just repurpose them, redistribute them to some, I don't know, not Gestapo, it's a little Hitlerian, a little fascistic, but, you know, some government entity that just has the ability to only have firearms, but they're all ours accumulated from some Australian S gun buyback. How is that? How is that fair? And how is that not tyranny? It, 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 exactly. You want to, you want to ever watch a movie that would terrify you have you ever seen lord of war no i think Nicolas you, you Cage. showed you showed me uh because the intro the intro is amazing yep. it's it's it follows bullet, it bullet. follows yep. one seven bullet. six two bullet yep. it follows one bullet yep. fired out of an ak-47 yep. the very beginning shows its process being created yep. the powder put in the bullet stamped shipped it's ready to go places. shipped all over the world russia it goes through, uh, and it goes through multiple ports. multiple ports that's what i think is the best part about that is that it's exchange from one war contractor to another, another. and then sold to some that's a, it was some, african yeah, yeah and sold to somewhere that you don't know and where does that bullet end up it ends up in a magazine and in an ak-47 that launches at a child it's a child it, 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 it shoots is a, a child, it in, the shoots head. A it child in the head it shows you all the way up to the point right before it hits them where that bullet goes yep. it's effective it's amazing and i think it's a great point but it's not an argument against guns period no. it's a government against borderline illegal arms sales right you just having weaponry and selling it because you want to make money that's the big but i think the whole point of that movie was where did that ammo come from and who sold it to all of these organizations i think it came down in the end the main seller of probably america it is yeah, yeah it totally 100%. is yeah. i i know that <laughs> yeah. and that's why uh that's why um you one, of the, one of the one of the most major firearm sales even illegally is america it's a sad so, yeah. reality mm -hmm. that's something i do not like that's yeah. something i don't like that my country does but that's our government that's, that's our what gov i'm talking that's about. what i'm saying that's our it's, government. it's a very it's a shady thing that our government does with our taxpayer dollars yeah. it's very shady and we don't like it that's why a lot of people call for transparency and i think that's if why you think they're that's not why funding see... different wars overseas oh and, and how many Man, different dude, places this has been going on since korea oh, that's what i mean like we've been you know we've just been sending uh you know peace officers and then actual u.s soldiers to areas of the world to so help you're okay train. with guns as far as it fits your agenda and you can go and and kill innocent people Talking to you, overseas. Nancy Pelosi. yeah exactly you, you you know putting forth your spending bill that you know gives money to oh egyptian militaries that you know then buy russian military equipment probably you know black market stuff it's crazy you know it's crazy i don't like that my this government makes me want to drink more whiskey i, I agree with you there <laughs> on that one. but you know it's things like that that if you were to highlight that as opposed to legal gun ownership in america if you were to show the spotlight on the fact that you know and that's what happened with um you know the whole iran contra thing it was yeah you're selling guns to nicaraguan guerrillas because you want to destroy iranians yeah. is that necessarily yeah. a good thing no it's not it's not a good thing um but the government does a lot of this yeah. crazy under the table balancing of options stuff and it's in it sells bad things to Absolutely. bad people i wish that it didn't so what's one way we can stop that um stop us just spending money willy-nilly and sending stuff to other parts of the world we don't really know too much about yeah, how much of our last stimulus package was it again uh, we uh, was it eight, 900 billion stayed here and then 900 the rest of, i was gonna say over in two that, point, that bill was 2.3 trillion. trillion that's yeah, a t the rest went over you know how kurt was talking earlier about billions, billions? of dollars We're of talking damage really talking trillions that's a couple extra zeros yeah and that's being in 900 billion of that was being wandered back into the american people um and even 14 percent of that was even going to actual yeah the actual COVID actual relief, american effect, yeah. direct american yep. jobs so rather stimulus anyways rather, so we digress that's well i mean <laughs> that is a digression but yeah. that's going off the gun thing i do think that is very important is that it was it's only when the guns are here it's only right. when the guns are in your backyard mm. it's only when um the guy i politically disagree with could go in and buy a gun that's that's dumb to me mm -hmm. but you don't bat an eye at us shitting shit shipping <laughs> weapon, shipping <laughs> you don't bat an eye at us really feel <laughs> you don't bat an eye at us shipping weapons and pallets of cash off to uh regimes that 
literally hurt people that yep. you would if here burn down literal city blocks for um to call attention to so i think it's nonsense um so in the end uh buy a gun yeah and that's that's kind of the overall go get one of these you can get one of these fairly reasonable actually what's crazy you what, can get four, one of those almost more reasonable than something like this. Well, what, what, uh, 500, This was like bucks? 550 bucks, yeah. and a little more maybe. Um, that I got, it was used, but that was only $500, you know? And it and was it's just, a build. It's it was just build. upper and lower, wasn't it? No, it's the whole thing. I got that whole thing. Scope included? Scope included. The front grip, uh, the, the custom, the upgraded buttstock, like everything on that. I mean, it was used. Well, I mean, so don't get me wrong. Used, and it's not used. It's smooth. not the it's most firearm. It's not the most crazy, fantastic AR in the you world. You don't it's need just not, the crazy, fantastic. And I'm not that crazy of a gun person. There are people out there that will there spend are. thousands on that. I'm not about that and because I'm not going. I'm, I'm, what am I doing with You're that? You're not you know speed I mean? shooting. Yeah, I'm exactly. not target shooting. I can I'm in a state. I can't hunt with rifles. Yeah. Like, so I, I mean, this is a self defense weapon. Yeah. Absolutely. This is the. Self-defense stopping anybody. This is where if you're trying to come up on me from, you know, 100 yards away. I mean, <laughs> if I know you're trying if to you're do me harm anyway. If you're coming to my house and take my AR-15. Yeah, that's exactly I'll what I'll see you coming, trust me. I'll see you from yeah. a mile away. But I do, I, I think that is kind of the, uh, the overall point, for lack of a better word, yeah. of the show today. Is that it's, um, no matter what anybody tells you, um, you have a, a right through the law of this land to own a weapon and keep it and store it if and you're then, comfortable you know, if you, that's a very good that's a very good side point is that if you're if you're comfortable doing it yeah. and i understand people aren't yeah. that's what we talk about if you're not about. just please don't own just don't it. Yeah, own that, a gun that makes me and, then, nervous. and then also don't come out and complain that i right, own a gun. exactly or don't complain that well i needed the gun and I didn't have it. So, you know what I mean? Like, so train. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> like, yeah. Go to a range. Get comfortable with Get it. Get comfortable. Yeah, I'll tell people firsthand. I wasn't first. I was not comfortable um, with a gun when I first handled one. I'm, I, I, I was terrified of them, mainly because of some stuff that, you know, happened when I was younger. But um, uh, when I, but then once I got one in my hand and I shot, and I shot a, multiple times, mm -hmm. a lot of times, I started to see, okay, I can I see handle the practicality. this. Yeah, I get I it. See the practicality. I, I see. The... But then there was other things that I had to go through in my mind. Mm -hmm. Am I okay taking a man's life? That was a big one. That is a bit. Well, that, period. That, it's a big yeah. philosophical question. That took a Two, lot. If longer. you're a responsible gun yeah. owner, can you do it? Um, and that took a lot longer to be comfortable, more comfortable with that. But then I finally did come to the conclusion. Absolutely, if you try and hurt me or my family or my my uh, fiance's family. Um, I will, I will put you down. Yeah. Well, and, and that's simple. something, that's something that I've always, you know, that's the thought anybody has is, do I want to do it? No. Hell no. I hope I never have I to. I hope I never have to do it. But I also hope I never have to use, um, I don't know, uh, natural destruction insurance. Right. I hope I, ne I never, I hope I never have to use, <laughs> you know, any form of insurance period and i i view firearms in concealing and carrying the responsibility of carrying a firearm as just that yep. i see it as a form of personalized life insurance you were talking about this earlier yep. and i i think that's i think that's a fine analogy yeah, for it it's I, perfect. I, you are in you are in control granted that can scare some people if it does don't buy a gun advocate for all your gun grabbing you want i don't agree with you but you do whatever you yeah. want um but it's literally my right to own a gun and if somebody's coming to do me harm or anybody I care about harm, um, yep. I, I could do it. Yep. Um, I don't want to, no. but I can't. I never want to. I don't want to. It's, it's that old saying, you know, better to have one and never have to use it than, you know, need it and not have it, you know. Dude, Absolutely. That would be, I would be terrified if I was in that situation. I'm like, I don't I have it. I wish I had a gun. Well, this is it. <laughs> you know, and that, and I don't even have very, a chance of. That's very finite. Yeah. That's very final at that point. It's like, oh, I should have should have bought a gun. <laughs> yeah. Should have spent yeah. the four hundred dollars. And that would be terrifying. And I don't ever want to be in that position. That would be. Thank a... God we kind of live in a place where it's it's not too prevalent, yeah. but it's also just it's nice to have. Um, but you never know. There's there's you do never know. We've had things happen here in, uh, in the Midwest 
uh, cops being shot. Remember that guy that went around just shooting police it was here. that one night? It was yeah. here. It was in it Urbandale. Was, yeah, it was yeah. literally just going up to literally parked cruisers. Yep. And just... Yeah, dude. I'm t- there's crazies there's everywhere. There's psychos. Mm-hmm. And granted, even police weren't prepared for that. You know what I mean? How can you be prepared How for someone How can you be prepared for around? a crazy yep. guy walking yep. up to the police cruiser and blowing away? And I think, if I remember correctly, that dude wasn't supposed to have... No, firearms. no, he I'm was pretty not. Sure, he was pretty not. sure he grabbed it from somebody else. Yeah, he um, he, uh, he was, was his he, father. I don't know. He was uh he was a he was he had issues with police for a long time. Yeah, I remember. I that remember he would go it. to like football games. And, yeah, you're right. He uh, would like he would kick him out of football yeah, games. Yeah, and so I I I remember him being kind of just not all there to begin with. Um, and those people should have known firearms, <laughs> right? And I think and I don't understand why that's such a a, a contention that. For some reason, people can't wrap their minds around the idea that there are people um, there that are. actually agree with them on that. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah, crazy shouldn't own weapons. And that's why you see a lot of these kind of like red flag laws yeah. come into, you know, come into play. And some people are like, yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, that kind of thing. So going back to um, the Capitol Hill thing, mm-hmm. I know we got off on the Second Amendment tangent, but it, it actually c- kind of tied in perfectly with all of these people, you know, going and doing what they did being dummies uh, yeah they were being dummies but um people that stormed the cap weren't were some dummies. of them armed did i hear that uh, some of them were armed or was i as far missed, as like the wrong like the reading? people like storming the capital no itself? not inside but uh, outside there were armed people outside yeah, if i'm yeah, correct yeah, yeah they were on uh, grounds. yeah there were i'm there pretty were, sure there i read were. that there were some um, people and that's an interesting i think that's an interesting like that. legal loophole um i don't think you can carry in dc not on federal property and or even on, on federal property. Yeah. Because you can't carry on federal property. Period. Here. Yeah, yeah, you can't carry on pe- federal property. And I don't think you can carry anywhere in D.C. Even open carry? I don't think you can. Like, D.C. is very I'm liberal, curious, dude. though, because in most states, I'm pretty sure you can open carry. Like, really? I'm... I wouldn't I mean, be surprised. Because I mean, that's one of those I think old it's also time. Like, it's literally, it's like, dude, that's you, your right you have to the right to do yeah. that. And in we, Iowa, you can open oh, carry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. You only have to have a permit to conceal Seal. carry. Right. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. yeah for open carry. Absolutely. For showing that you so literally you have a gun. Ha- yep. If you owned a gun and you had it on the outside I didn't of your think pants. think about that. Because that's exactly what happened in Virginia. That's yep. exactly yes. what all of those like pro gun You can do. walk down the street with a gun on your hip as long as you can legally own a gun. You don't. You do not have to have a permit to do that. Yeah, because it's not. You only right. Carrying. If you, you only have to have a permit to conceal it, because that's more. You know, the, You're hiding. Yeah, it. right. Exactly. Technically hiding. So yeah, exactly. So you got to be almost like a better human. I don't know to, to be able to do that. <laughs> to it's to conceal I would, and carry. I would, I would, no, yeah, to, to conceal yeah. carry. I would never open carry because that's just asking for something. That's asking some for somebody problem. to go after you first. Yeah, they're gonna be what? What? what oh my god. I'll call the cops. This guy's got a gun. Like, well, how, do you, how do you know I'm not a cop? But whatever. That's also a good point. Yeah. I think also people get scared by open They're absolutely carry. scared. and, and Especially what, in the part of town that I live in. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're ever in a place with me, and because I, I do conceal carry, you should feel safer. Feel safer, honestly. Because I have it. Notice that my back's not to the door. Notice that. I'm um, always facing where I can see. Yep. Yep. I, I, I'm in a position I, My situational where I can see. awareness now, ever since I took classes and 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 really started to get into, you know, to, to carry and firearm, my situation, I'm always looking. Like, you'll you see, even prepared. at work, I'm always like. You have to be prepared. Yeah. Well, and you have to, and that's why they, uh, there are classes and courses that train you on that kind of mentality, yeah. especially because you now have the responsibility of owning a owning firearm. A firearm. Yeah. So you now have to, if you're going to conceal and carry, you have to position yourself in a position that would, in the God's forsaken circumstance that you have to now utilize this to take someone's life. You're in a prime scenario, situation, position to commence with that and put that forth. Um, And that's important. And you need to be educated on that. And that's why anybody that owns a gun tells you, yeah, learn about your gun. Yeah. Like literally, you know, spend some time with it, clean it out. Literally learn how the parts work. Know what ammunition it fires. All these kind of things. You should know it's all basic, of this. It's basic. Ter- yep. It's basic. It's par for the course yeah. when it comes to guns. But I mean, you you do need to know these things, especially if you're going to be a responsible gun mm-hmm. owner. Um, and I, I, you know, kind of going off what you were tailing into with the capital stuff there. I am surprised you didn't see. It sounds bad saying it out loud. I'm surprised you don't. You didn't see more crazies try and do some BS like that. I really am. Um, I think one... there were. I think there were some, quite a few people actually carrying guns. Hmm. Um, 
we're leading into another another question. Do you think that they should be allowed to carry guns on the Capitol grounds or in federal on federal property? Mm, that is a good question. That's a very good question. I say we should. I reason be, if you reason, go through, reason, if you... reason being, where does that where do all of these things come from? Where does these federal buildings come from? What who yeah. are they paid 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 yep. for by? Yeah. So why should I not have the right to carry on? Carry on here on, if, uh, if I don't know, <laughs> if my superior over here can or whatever. Why can I not? Why, why, why can, can I, I exactly? Not carry it in yeah. here? Especially if I go through all the legal, right? All the legal avenues Channels to, to actually to do, do that. that yeah. Why? Why would I not be able to? I could agree with that. I could say, um, if you are registered to conceal and carry, you should be able to conceal and carry on mm -hmm. federal property. Um, I could, I could see. The art, mm, no, even then, I don't, I don't think you could. I was about to say you could see the argument for saying you can't open carry, but at what point, what's stopping you from? Open? I think they call that constitutional carry. Um, I, I get emails from from some people all the time, like they're trying to get constitutional carry um, approved in in a lot of states. A lot of states don't have that, which is federal property and things like oh, that. Oh, okay. So. Well, that's why when you kind of when you mentioned it earlier, the Constitution you, doesn't say anything about it. Has that. nothing about it, where it, I it, can. It, and right. it might in in individual states Constitution mm -hmm. because every every state, every state now is different. Has, has that's its the own that's the point, right? And so, yeah, no, it is the point. But I think there's some some sometimes there 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 should be no differences when it comes Ooh. to states as far as as far as like carrying your state legal to state. rights yeah yeah Owning i think there should be no reciprocity i think it should be if you have the right to carry here you should be able to carry in the other 49 the states i can agree with yeah. that i can see why you know um you know i i see why i don't i won't say i understand i see why states like um california or illinois will be like um you literally you can't even bring it in nope. here dude like you can't even it won't it can't even grace county line or mm -hmm. state lines yeah. as a matter yeah. of fact state lines. um i can see why you would want to do that um you're scared to me that's what it is you're scared like that's what i see i see that you're terrified so much of firearms that you don't even want them in your state um hasn't stopped people from buying guns in your state and two it's not going to stop bad people from doing bad things with guns and, in your state and, and, and san look bernardino at, look at those, right. all of these things there's been a lot of tragic look at the events. states you mentioned well so you got new york illinois uh california mm -hmm. those are those are three states where i would feel very uncomfortable not, not carrying having a, a gun. gun in especially in chicago especially in new york city especially in los angeles street high street crime areas why would you not allow your law-abiding citizens Absolutely. to own i don't care if i'm from a different farm. state if i'm if i'm coming to your state i'm law abiding be, yeah right i should be able to be i mean i'm coming to your your state in a city that is notoriously known for being life with crime <laughs> sorry with crime. Uh, to put it no other way it, why would i come to your crime. city then like, unprotected yeah perfectly purpose purportedly undetected right. or unprotected because you're making it so i literally cannot have a gun in the state or carry it on that's me. terrifying to me and that's why i don't ever care to go there honestly well there's, I, there's I, a lot I, of reasons well there's other reasons too yeah i mean california there. is a cesspool it's a chicago is a cesspool a new york city is a cesspool i i go off on on tangents about this stuff because well it but you go off on tangents on it because it's 100 percent true yeah these places are Oh, oh man they're corrupt um they're they're run with policies that have done nothing but make the people within the confines of their borders right perpetually more and more downtrodden and poor so i don't i don't see the appeal of those places and that's why we live in a place mm -hmm. like this yeah where we have the rights that's that we I have plan on leaving <laughs> yeah and i and i won't be infringed on yeah. by the government i i feel like there's a there's a consensus in the in the heart of America where it's literally yeah literally let government leave you alone. Yeah. That's um that's the entire point is to be left alone. Um, you have these kind of basic tenets, these basic principles of what constitute basic law rights yeah. through the land, um, and those can't be touched by anybody. Yeah. So you have them here, and I do think you see a consensus yeah, of that throughout this part. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why you do see more gun ownership in this part of the country. There is a it's twofold. A lot of people hunt here. A lot yeah, of hunting they, in the middle of the country. Yep, right. And two, it's literally my right to own a yeah. gun. And a lot of people view it as that. I have the right to own a gun. I'm going to protect gonna myself and my family. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to go spend the money. I'll shell out the 50, 60 bucks so I can carry if I want to. And, um, and I feel, honestly, I feel more comfortable with knowing that 
a lot of people here probably do carry. I'll feel more comfortable knowing that you will. I mean, not necessarily at work, but you know, if we were mm -hmm. ever to, no, to together outside period, of if, if I if I'm carrying period, period like if yeah. I if I if I'm with you, you know I'm carrying. I know you're carrying. I feel I'm gonna we feel, feel very safe. damn yeah. protected yeah. because it's nobody is going. <laughs> we would not let people do harm right. in that situation. Yep. I do think there's a lot of credence to the the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun and is a, a good, good guy, guy with a gun. gun. Yeah. I know people don't like that argument. I it's completely like, agree with so, it though. It's so up in the air and it's not taking it's not all up the, in the it's, air. All ta it's not taking in all the factors. Okay, fine, but what stops the bad guy with the gun? Yeah. It's the good guy <laughs> with the gun. Yeah. That's yeah. what stops the bad guy. So, let the good guys acquire the guns. Yeah. Legally, yeah. as they do. Legally. You notice that the bad guys usually obtain them Illegally? Illegally, isn't yeah. that funny? Yeah. It's almost like if that's their entire point, they don't want people to know that they have these guns oh, because God. they're doing it illegally. Whereas it, legal people are like, "Yeah, I have a gun." Yeah. So you look at Chicago; you can't. It's impossible to get a gun, right? It's in Illinois, not impossible. Yeah. Right. How do all these? How do how do all these criminals? Keep how do you have the guns? highest murder rate in the country? Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. And it's so frustrating when people. I think a lot of people are then would just turn around and go, "Ooh, these people bringing it over state lines." I think that's a that's, statistical no, minority. I, I, yeah. I honestly think it's people just maybe some. I think it's but uh, it's word of mouth. There stuff. are already so it's, many in Illinois. It, well, let's say it's brown bagging on yeah, the street. Right, it's you know exactly. it's passing yep. hand to hand. It's scratched off serial numbers. It's all these things yep. stolen. Um, and yep. this is what criminals do. Yep. And this is why we can legally own guns is to stop criminals with guns. Mm -hmm. That's why you can own a gun. So all in all, own a gun, folks. <laughs> Please own a gun. Yes. All right, we don't have to talk about that anymore. But um, what do you want to end on here, Travis? What do you want to discuss real quick before we? I think uh, you know what we'll end on the um, we'll end on the uh, kind of the insurrection stuff yeah. really quickly again. Um, and all in all, I guess for me, what so it... I saw that Trump was impeached yeah, again for the second. That's time a today. very good yeah. point. I was thinking about that earlier. I forgot to bring that up. Um, yeah, he did get impeached again by the House. By the House. Um, right. A democratic-controlled controlled house, house, even before the election. Yep. A democratic-controlled house put forth again <laughs> articles of impeachment against Donald Trump. Ten Republicans went, went on side of On the, the House. House. Yeah, in the House, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. That did happen. Um, I think they have... I think the argument has a tad bit of merit because it's, it's criticizing his rhetoric. Fine, you can go after that. That's not right. enough. It's, it's not, not enough. It's not. You can't say unless somebody literally stood up and said, "Go break into the Capitol, go do it." And he didn't do that. He did not do that. You know, it's the standard we uh, people on the right held against. Um, you know, um, the crazy then went and shot up the congressional baseball game. Right, he's a Bernie Sanders supporter, but we didn't say Bernie didn't Sanders con exactly. it because he didn't. He, he wouldn't want those things to happen. Yep. I don't think Donald Trump wants. Mitch McConnell to be bound and gagged. I don't think I don't think he wants these Maybe things happening. So. Maybe he does. <laughs> Apparently he likes getting beat on by Russian prostitutes. So I don't know. But I think what what I saw from that, especially on the day of the sixth, and you know, we were both at work and you saw how just livid I was getting. Yeah. And part of it to me was I felt that I was living in a juvenile nation. Yeah. I felt like I was living in a daycare center yeah. that was the United States. I was watching a bunch of, you know, and that's, it's not a lot coming from a young guy. Sure. I get that. But I was, I, for the previous six to seven months, I saw people running roughshod through streets without cops doing a thing. Yeah. And yeah. we were all told, oh, yeah, it's because if the cops do something, it's just, it's literally what those people are out there protesting is the systemic racism stuff that's stopping them from not even actually to, you know, say their words, even though they're breaking into the hilltop tire service next door to my apartment building, all these kind of things. It was, it was asinine. It was you being childish when other large sects of your group were doing what they constitutionally can. Um, same thing with the insurrection thing. It was a bunch of crazies that just got nutty right. and ran through a Capitol door. Um, and you said it, you said it before. You don't like to talk about what about is you don't like, I don't like, like, like that. saying I'm fine with one side right. doing it, but when the other side does it, I hate yeah. it. That's why most people I think saw all this stuff and were like, They're this both, is gross. Yeah, exactly. I hated it. Yeah. Um, so all in all, I want a lot of people to grow up. I really do. Yeah. I want right, left and center. Um, I want a, also, um, an unveiling of this idea that we have to exist in this two party tribalist yeah, way of life. We don't. Um, I, you know, I understand. 
I, no, I'm not going to say I understand. The argument usually seems to get thrown back in my face. It's like, well, it's just how it is now. Okay, fine. Why not break it? Why not at least go against yeah. the system? Why not break the system? And <laughs> I know I've kind of jokingly said it to you at work before. It's like, you know what, Kurt? Why don't just say screw we'll it? Start our own Start our own movement? Party? Start yeah. our own political yeah. party? You know? Which sounds, I'm totally sounds for. Sounds a little cultish when you kind of say it out loud like that. But it's... I it, guarantee I, you there's a lot more people thinking the same thing. There are a lot of people in the center of the country and people who are on, even on left or right sides yeah. of the political spectrum that got pushed to the center, center. Yep. by their fringes and then all got told because you're hanging out in the center and you can't make a decision you're the you're it's yeah. your fault mm -hmm. nobody else you and whoever's currently president it's your fault because you didn't vote x or whatever and i think that needs to be stripped yep. away i, I really agree. do i think there needs to be more there needs to be more of a consensus around what the center of america thinks that's where a lot of people sit, yeah. especially after the last two election cycles. A lot of people are just going, you know what? I was fine with the initial promise of this country. I'm going to be left alone. Won't have incredible tax hikes. We'll just be left to my own devices. Yada, yada, yada. See a tax return <laughs> season. I really don't care. Yeah. It's like that kind of thing. And you're seeing a, a I, from my personal opinion, I think you're seeing a big gravitation towards that. You're seeing a lot of people go, I don't, I I'm agree. not, I'm not subscribing to any political ideology. I don't like ideology period. No. Uh, but once you, it, it's just so that post was, it put it perfectly an already fractured nation. You're trying to manufacture outrage to divide an already fractured country. This country is incredibly fractured. It's on a ragers at ragers, razor's edge constantly. Yeah because we have it in our heads that the other half of the country simply could not even understand what it's like to be me or could not yeah. agree with me. And I think that's very dangerous. So I think you're going to, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're going to see a lot of people to gravitate more towards the center. And, and I, I hope they do actually. I mean, I, I'll probably be there. Well, and I mean, from, I mean from there's my still going to be things I that I've always been there. I think you've right. From, we talked about this from too. what I've always yeah, kind of yeah, talked yeah, to yeah, you yeah. about at work. It's always seemed like you're kind of there. You will definitely, you know, have this sudden shift yeah. to the right. But when it's warranted and it's an right. actual so just like argument, you pretty much, yeah, that's yeah. A we're, very we're valid very, point. We're, we're very, very pretty much on the yeah, same page. Yeah. But I'm also I'm not gonna be thrown into the camp just to pick up the club and beat the other side right, yeah i'm no, not gonna do that no. i'm so over it. i think that was a big part of trumpism i really mm -hmm. do um was it was you know i do think it was a good line <laughs> they they don't hate me that's they hate you and they just have to go through, through me, me yeah. i think that's a very yeah, good line because it, it was accurate yep. i think there's a vast majority of the progressive left that does not like a mm, is not a fan of a vast yep. majority of the rest of the country um simply for that reason but then trumpism also became yeah so treat your political opposition the exact same way because they don't like you uh, that's how it came off yep. at times as opposed to they're americans too they just disagree it's with just, you yeah let's agree to disagree and let's come to the best possible outcome we can you know deride from everybody's you know input here and see what we can get done on capitol hill that's what politics to me is initially supposed to be it is the weighing be. of policy yep. options so you're not going to get perfect no. because it's humanly impossible to get perfect so let's figure it out. Let's balance together. Let's get everybody's input. I think not just New York and California. Yeah. I don't care. Don't care about them. I want I want Missouri to have yeah, a say. Right. I want Montana yeah. to have a say. I want Louisiana, which flip flops. I want them to have a say. I don't want just one area of the country making decisions for Everyone. everybody else because yep. that's yep. very scary. Yep. And that's you know. That's why I think kind of where we are right now. Yeah. I think a lot of people have kind of gotten out of touch with that idea. I think this next year, this year is going to be very interesting. I think give it six to seven months and we're really going to start to come into uh, something that either is better. Like you were saying, you, you know, as a nation, I think we might come together on some things or it could be a lot oh, worse. worse. Yeah. I do, and it's at the moment, it's so incredibly up in the air. Right, really we don't is. know yet. We don't so, know yet. And we won't for a little while. We, uh, yeah. That's also very true. Yeah. We won't know for a little yeah. bit. I think you'll kind of, I think a good litmus test is going to be on Inauguration Day. Yeah. What happens on Inauguration Day is going to yeah. set forth the vision of what happens at least over the next today, six, seven months. It's a week from I today. No, it's yeah. very scary. <laughs> James and I are kind of talking. Are we going to be at work just watching everything? We like, probably what's going to happen. Well, I'll say I'm, I'll be I'll be tuning in. I've been doing my best to stay away from news. 
Um, yeah, I, I told, agree. I told yeah. you kind yep. of today. I have a. I'm usually I'm a Twitter guy. I usually like to go on Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in the last five days easily. I just I just haven't gotten on Good there. Good for you. Oh, it's thanks. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. No, but it's. It, I think that's actually kind of a good point to leave off on for yep, this one. Yep. If you are if you are feeling stressed out, if everything everywhere you look, every information center is just vomiting anger and resentment to sort towards some other individual, um turn it off. Yep. Turn it off. Unplug. And if it if it's an app, uninstall it for a week. If you want to bring it back, just put it on your phone. You can literally log in in the second. It'll be all there again. I, did I don't that. have any of that stuff for a reason. You're smart. Yeah. You really are <laughs> smart. I, 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 prior to the, to the 2020 election, I was kicking around like deleting Twitter. Um, but then it was kind of the same thing at that time. I was like, I don't go on it that much. It'll be okay. Um, and then the rest is history. Hindsight is very 2020 and 2021. But I I I do think you're gonna you're gonna see a lot more of just kind of that. You're yep. gonna see this, this this idea that's like, oh my god, you know what? You know, what? leave me alone. I'm gonna turn off. I'm turning off Fox. I'm turning I'm turning off MSNBC. Um, I'm turning off CNN. I'm just shutting yeah, it all off. Yeah. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into my world yeah. for a second. And you will see how much better and happier life is if you just turn off that goddamn new stuff. I did it over the last four, three or four days as well. And even my fiance was like, you seem so much happier over the last few days. What's what's going on? I'm like, really? I'm like, I didn't <laughs> even know. It's, like, it's because I'm, I'm unprivy yeah. to the BS. That and, is and that's the exactly right. World. And then I started thinking about it. Like, she's she's right. I have been. I've been so much more. You are a, you. Everybody is it's a lot crazy. happier when you're not. I'm gonna being, unplug more often. Honestly. It's really good for you. I still want to talk I, about I, things. I should I, practice I what I should. preach more with that, but <laughs> it's 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 really a good <laughs> thing to do is to uh, literally unplug for quite some time because. Bigsby, shut up, Bigsby. <laughs> shut up. I didn't understand that. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. You're not supposed to understand it when I say. But all in all, I think if if you're getting stressed out about the news cycle or the world just seems to be angering you, just turn it off. Turn it off for a moment. Delete the app. Um, don't browse yeah. the news cycle. Enjoy we exist. We life. exist in a twenty four set twenty four hour news cycle yeah, period. It's terrible. It doesn't matter. So in four days, whatever was talk talking about the day you deleted the app isn't going to matter. Yep. So just move on and exist with your loved ones exist exists here now, and now. Yeah. um because there is only now the f yes future is there but not guaranteed so just live now live yep. here live with the people you care about tell those you love that you love them um about go buy a gun yeah, that's exactly what i was just about to say you read my mind kurt go buy a gun go protect the ones you care about oh so much with it and you know leave others to their own devices let other people take care of themselves just as you take care of yourself. Um, yep. You know, and as long as they're not going around and yelling that somebody should be killed, just leave them alone yep. and let them do their own thing. And all in all, I think that's where we'll end it off tonight. So cheers, Travis. Cheers, Kurt. Here's to, really even though we kind of said, here's to 2021 in the last episode, here's to a, I think a genuinely better America throughout 2021. I, I, I hope and pray for it. And I, I, I hope I hope as well. If I know anything about Americans is that they're the most incredibly resilient, resilient yeah. human beings to grace this world. If we can if we can go through a war that almost tore this nation from existence, we can get through yeah. some petty squabble we'll be BS right. like this. We'll be all so, right. So we'll be all right, everybody. Cheers, go everyone. buy a gun. Go tell the people that you love that you love them. <laughs> and uh legally buy a gun. Get, yes, legally right. buy a gun. Yeah. And uh cheers. See you soon. Oh, that's good stuff. Good